Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Rubble Free. In today's video, I am going to explain you about comparing learning algorithms in the subject of machine learning. So, in machine learning, we actually have hundreds and hundreds of algorithms, right? So, among those algorithms, we need to pick one algorithm which is uh, suiting, which is the best match for our problem, right? So, how do you pick up that algorithms? For, so, based on some criteria, based on some factors, we are going to pick up the algorithm and what are those factors let us see in this video okay so one more thing if you are having your exam schedule nearby just let me know your exam date and also your college name in the comment section so that I can make videos by your um, exam date and according to your college syllabus as well and one more thing what is the next playlist that you people want me to make just let me know that in the comment section so that I'll start that playlist once I complete this okay so yeah let's see so as I said we consider some factors while choosing an algorithm so when we are comparing two algorithms or more than two algorithms what are the factors that we take into consideration so first is the time complexity you know what time complexity is right the amount of time that algorithm takes to complete so in time complexity we actually have two again you need to test you need to check both training time complexity and testing time complexity right training in the sense you, you will be training the machine you will be making the machine to learn about the data testing in the sense whatever the data that the machine has learned whether it is performing good according to that data or not you will be testing it right so training and testing complexities both you need to check when you are checking for the time complexity okay training and also you need to check for testing time complexity space okay complexity done. in the sense how much space the algorithm is taking right so since we have so much of data we tra we train so many examples to the machine right so we need to choose an algorithm which will take up only less space so it should be efficient in terms of space also so space complexity time complexity and the third is sample complexity so sample complexity in the sense number of training examples need to train the machine so uh, a, a machine should be able to learn perfectly with minimum number of training examples possible so that time will be space saved space will be saved everything will be saved okay so space complexity in the sense number of examples required to train the machine okay done next is unbiased data so unbiased data is nothing but the machine should be able to learn the machine should be able to um, you know it should be able to get trained over unbiased data unbiased data in the sense there should be no differences between the data like if you are in a class of 60 students so, so let us take a class of 60 students where you have 30 girls and you have 30 boys you're learning only about girls and you're not learning about boys you're not considering about boys then it is said to be biased data if you're learning only about girls and not con sorry if you're learning only about boys and not considering girls then it is also said to be un uh, sorry biased right so you're showing bias you're showing difference only to a particular set you should not show like that you should learn about everything you should learn in general so that is what you a uh, an algorithm should always take unbiased data and online and offline algorithms so what do you mean by this online and offline algorithms it is very simple online means online means suppose if new data is coming um, a machine is already trained a perfectly trained with so many training examples and done now you want to train about new data then what you do in case of online algorithms the new data is automatically updated the new data is automatically added whenever new data comes it is automatically added but what happens in case of offline it is not updated automatically what you have to do you need to retrain the entire machine okay you need to again retrain so existing examples plus new examples everything you need to retrain the machine again if you're going with offline ex offline algorithms so obviously which is better online algorithms only are better because new data whenever new data is coming it is automatically trained right and next what is parallelizability parallelizability is nothing but simple parallel algorithms you say parallel algorithms means they will be 
एक दे कैन कंप्लीट मल्टीपल ऑपरेशन एट वन टाइम राइट सो इंस्टेड ऑफ डूइंग एवरीथिंग स्टेप बाय स्टेप दे विल बी एबल टू कंप्लीट मल्टीपल ऑपरेशन एट अ सिंगल टाइम ओके दे विल बी शेयरिंग द वर्क लोड अमंग ऑल दी यू नो द वर्क लोड इज शेयर वर्क लोड इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड ओके डन एंड वॉट इज अ एग्जाम्पल फॉर दिस इफ यू आस के एन एन एल गोरिथम के एन यर दिस नाइबर एल गोरिथम वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट दिस एल गोरिथम इन द नेक्स्ट कमिंग वीडियोज okay and next is the last one is the parametricity so in parametricity you have two things actually parametric model and non parametric model parametric and non parametric so what do you mean by parametric so number of parameters are fixed number of parameters related to data are fixed even when the size of the data grows also the number of parameters related to data is fixed and coming to non parametric the number of parameters related to the data changes with the size in data so here with the size in data the para parameters are fixed here with the size in data the parameters keep on changing okay done so this is about the parametricity right so you compare learning algorithms using these uh, basic properties this is very easy i know so um I hope you understood this video clearly. So, if you're still having any doubts apart from what I've explained in this video, you can let me know in the comment section. I'll definitely try to explain again so that you can understand it in a more better way. Don't worry. And yeah, so that's all. Let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic. And do not forget to tell me your feedback about the video, whether you've understood what I've explained or not. Thanks for watching the video till the end. Let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic.